Welcome to the program Know the Law. I'm Varun Tiwari and with me one and only Ajay Singh. Thank you and my name is Ajay Singh. I am the principal solicitor at Redline Legal based in Parramatta. So what's our today's topic is? Yes, uh, we have made a series of videos about uh, debt collection. In the first video we spoke about debt collection, letter of demand. In the second video we spoke about a, the court process. And the third video, this video, we will be talking about how to obtain a default judgment. So if you, uh, if you have received a, or a, a statement of claim and you have done nothing about it, then the person, the plaintiff who has sent you a statement of claim after 28 days expires can file a default judgment against you. And this happens very often, Varun, I must say that a lot of people don't do anything when they receive the statement of claim but what happens is then they get this default judgment entered against them <clears throat> and that's when they start reacting because that default judgment has an impact on your credit rating uh, and that's when people start talking about default judgment so what happens is if you don't, don't file a defense then the plaintiff uh, who has filed the statement of claim will go to court and get a default judgment against you which means the court makes an order that you pay the uh, creditor that certain amount of money within uh, that certain amount of money simple as that and that default judgment uh, it's important stays there for 12 years so Ooh. you don't have to enforce it straight away for the next 12 years um, it sits there and as soon as you find out that Varun knows, uh, owns a, a car and you want to enforce your uh, default judgment you can always get that default judgment enforced against that particular person Varun. Okay. Can you file a defense after the default judgment? Very good question. So a lot of people don't do anything when they receive a statement of claim. So basically they should have filed a statement of claim within the 28 days when they receive the statement of claim. They don't. And then the other party goes and gets a default judgment against you. Your question is, can you file a defense after yeah. the default? And the answer to that is no. You oh. cannot file a defense after a default judgment has been entered against you. Okay. And what to do if you want to re-side default? Right. So if someone has uh, now got a default judgment against you, what you need to do is you need to make an application to set aside that default judgment. Now, that is why I always say that when you receive the statement of claim, don't just ignore it. When you receive the letter of demand in my first video, I spoke about it. Take that action. Don't just ignore it. Yes. Act on it. Same when you receive a statement of claim, don't just ignore it, act on it. Because when you go and try to get this default judgment set aside, it becomes very expensive. So what happens is you go to apply to court to get this default judgment set aside first. The chances are that the court will not um, let you do this, but there are process that needs to be followed. So. The, the, the answer to your question is, can that be set aside? In most cases, it can be set aside, but it, uh, it comes with a lot of cost. But just because that default judgment gets set aside, that does not mean your debt is set aside. So what happens then is you go and start the process again. You ask for a court to give you leave to file your defense, which means the same process starts again. You file your defense and then run the case. So that's why it's important that when you receive the letter of demand, act on it. When you receive a statement of claim, don't just sit with it, act on it, get legal advice. There's a lot of lawyers out there, go and see them and they'll be able to help you uh, to avoid this um, default judgment situation. That's about default judgment in this video, Varun, unless you've got any further questions. You can guys send us and uh, I will uh, take that questions to one and only Ajay Singh. Thank you. And we're always here to help you. Uh, my contact number is available on the videos feel free to call me i'm happy to answer a lot of your questions over the phone if you if you have questions uh, apart from that keep watching our video keep sharing our video and let's educate the community on uh, you know to to overcome these little issues that they might have thank you and thank you very much ajay and thank you very much for keep quoting at keep sharing thank you thank you bye bye <laughs>